Today we're going to be subtracting numbers that require us to borrow. But first off, to do that, let's go ahead and draw it out. Now, I have 11 minus 5. If you have a paper in front of you, go ahead and draw 11 with me. If not, go ahead and follow along. So we have 5. I'm going to make them look the closest I can to boxes. I'm not the best drawer here. I'm not an artist. I'm a mathematician. Now, here I go. I have 11, and then I have to subtract 5. We're going to do, do the drawing, but then I'm going to go ahead and show you in the abstract way. Abstract meaning I'm going to go ahead and show it to you here. So here I subtract 5. Now, all I have to do here is then go ahead and count how many I have left. So I would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. I have 6 and that is my answer. But wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I do that though? How would I get to this point if I was subtracting it? Because 11 minus 5, I can't do that. I have to borrow or something like that. That's what the teacher said. So to do this, you have to interpret the 1 as 1. Ignore this one for now and say, can I subtract one minus five? Can I do, if I have one box, can I subtract, let's say five? Notice how I subtracted earlier. Can I say five? You're gonna realize I run out of boxes very, very quickly, but I still have four more to get rid of. So how do I do that? So the way that we learned in math to solve this conundrum, this little problem that we have, is that I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm going to borrow from this one. Now, whatever number I borrow for, from, I'm going to make it one less. So if I had one, I'm going to make it a zero now. Now that I have zero, this number, the following number, is going to turn into 11. Now, I understand. Didn't I just make 11 to 11? Yes, you did. But now, what you know is that in my tens placement, there will be a zero. So you know your number can only be a number between 0 and 9. But let's go back. Let's say we have 11. Now, if I do that, I simply, with my fingers, you can always use your fingers or you can use the drawing, but we already figured that out. And the answer is simply going to go ahead and be 6. Because all I'm doing is counting, you could say 11 and then minus 5. You can do the drawing, you can count with your fingers. There's a lot of ways to do that. But what I really wanted to show is that we are borrowing and we are making sure that that tens placement is being covered. Let's go ahead and do it for the following number. Now, again, it's gonna look a little wonky because we're borrowing from a one and then we're making it a 14, but let's go ahead and practice our tools. We still have to practice the borrowing. Here, if we try this again, again, act as if the one doesn't exist. And let's say we have four minus eight. If I did four minus eight, if I did four boxes, and then I tried subtracting eight from them, would I be able to? You'd quickly realize that you can't. You need four more. Now, this is where you can use your strategy and you can realize how easy or how much simpler this becomes. So this zero, this one rather, this one that I, covered up is the one that we have to borrow from. So we're gonna borrow from this one, make it a zero. Again, if this is a zero, that means this over here is gonna be a zero right here. In this very moment, it's gonna be a zero because there's also nothing next to my eight that I'm subtracting with. So there's a little bit of tricks that you can see when you're doing math and it makes your life a lot easier. So let's say we have a four, but when we borrowed from this one, now this is gonna turn into a 14. Again, we went back to the place we were, but we get to go ahead and add more numbers. So we had four, we already borrowed four, but we're gonna add 10 more. We're gonna add 10 more. And then we have to add five more boxes. Notice that I went ahead and already crossed them out before I got to this point. And we can simply go ahead and count. And if we count here, you're gonna notice I say one, two, three, four, five, six, actually the exact same answer. What you have to understand, oh, here is the drawing, the concept. And then here is my abstract. In math, we have to learn how we created this visual preemptively 
And now we're here in the abstract. That is the importance of understanding because I know some of my students will ask, well, why don't we always just do the drawing? The reason for that is that you save a lot of time and it becomes a lot more usable if you simply use the abstract way of writing 14 minus eight, instead of drawing out 14 and then crossing out eight times, it saves you a lot of time and it becomes a lot simpler to understand math. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.